Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, I want to come on here and talk about the whole future and Eliza Rain situation, honey, okay? At this point, these two people are literally turning into a Dragon Ball T episode, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys remember the last video I did on these two, basically, she was suing Future and trying to take Future to court um, to basically demand that he take a paternity test and get child support payments because at this point, she's struggling. You know, the only thing she's able to feed the baby is porridge and breast milk, so she needs her damn bag okay so future has now responded to her lawsuit and future is basically demanding that the court basically toss out her lawsuit due to fraud okay so this is what's being reported by the blast go ahead and check this out so they're reporting rapper future is moving to dismiss the paternity lawsuit filed against the alleged baby mama according to court documents obtained by the blast Future is responding to the case brought by a Florida woman named Eliza Seffin. He filed a motion to dismiss, which accuses Seffin of fraud upon the court. He denies being the father of her child. The case is ongoing. Honey. All right, so that's what's going down with that. So, of course, once Eliza Rain, you know what I'm saying, caught wind of what Future was trying to do, she wasn't here for the foolishness. So, of course, she took to Instagram to go off on him, to put on a 1-800 deadbeat shirt. I mean, this woman is a clown, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out. So, first, she changes her name on Instagram to say, just take the test. Then she goes on to post, denying the truth doesn't change the facts. Then she goes on to post these pictures with her 1-800 deadbeat shirt and a video. Check this out. All right, so you guys just saw the pictures in the video. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. And like I've always said, I don't feel bad for either one of these two people. She's a stupid ass female for the fact that you already knew this man had other kids. He had a baby on the way with Joey, Josie, whatever her name is, Chavez, okay? And you ran up there to be the sixth baby mama. He's nasty for raw dogging all these damn people back to back to back. I mean, at this point in time, who isn't pregnant by damn future shit, okay? He just had another baby, um, not even a few months ago, named Legendary, and that baby looks just like Future as well. I just think Future just absolutely had no connection with this woman. I think for Future, it was just simply sex, and that's it. For her, she was trying to get a bag, and that's it. And that is a recipe for disaster, okay? Like I stated, if you guys have not watched my Brian McKnight video, where I broke it down, you know, some females got in their feelings, and I didn't give a shit, okay? You know, the way you conceive a child with a man will definitely determine how that man feels about you and how they feel about that child. Does it make it right? No. But that is why you shouldn't be trying to go into situations trying to get pregnant by a bag because who ends up suffering? It's the child. You might get a check every month, but it's that child who suffers. Snoop Dogg's son has spoke about this several times. Yes, Snoop pays child support for his child who was literally born a few months after his, I think his second son, because they're literally like back to back. Yes, he pays child support for that son, but the son has always said it, it doesn't matter. He was not there for me. He wasn't at my basketball games. He wasn't a, a constant father figure in my life like he was to those other children. So, you know, a lot of men have this mentality, like if you're not the main chick or if I wasn't trying to get you pregnant and I wasn't trying to be with you, we didn't have a relationship and you get pregnant, yeah, I'll do what I got to do financially, but there's really that, that connection, that bond is not there. And it's really sad and women need to be very, very careful because again, we're the ones who carry the babies. You know, you can get mad and scream and shout, but at the end of the day, that's your baby, okay? Mama's baby, daddy's maybe. 
You know, that's just what it is. So you have to be very, very mindful of that when you go into a situation. I think that's what's happening. And my thing is for future, if you really feel like this is a fraudulent case and she's just, you know, clout chasing and trying to get you for your money, then, sir, you need to take a DNA test, okay? The only way you can prove fraud is if you actually take the DNA test proving that this is not your child and this woman is batshit crazy and she got knocked up by somebody else and she's trying to use you and your name for stardom and everything else. But the fact that he has not taken a paternity test and this child is almost six months old, I have to give Future the side eye. When it comes to one-year-old Dante, Pierre, you are the father. I think he knows deep down inside that's his child, okay, because she looks a lot like Future, but he doesn't want to have anything to do with the child or the mother because of the mother's behavior, because of how messy she is on social media, because of how she's using the situation to come up. If you notice all the other baby mamas, they're basically chilling. Josie's not on, you know, social media blasting future and talking shit. Hence why Josie's going on trips with future. Hence why future is, you know, claiming Josie's baby, you know what I mean? Or Joey. Um, the other one, Legendary's mom, she ended up doing a live stream like a few weeks ago with Eliza Rain where they were just basically blasting future and, you know, talking shit. And I just find this funny, like, like, this, like, where's the personal responsibility? I love you to talk to you, my girl, but I let you talk. I keep telling you this shit. Shut up on the internet. Leave that shit alone. Do not entertain it. Every time I, got, I scroll, I see you leave a fucking comment. If somebody leaves a comment on your page, shut up. Delete the app, bro. If you, I promise you, if you be quiet, that nigga's gonna respect you. He gonna do what he gotta do, take the fucking test, and do what he gotta do for his kid. No. But you keep entertaining the Let internet. Stop entertaining Hold the on. internet. Let me know when you're done. No, I'm not done, son, because you keep doing this. You keep, I keep, I don't know how else to tell you. You, okay, you run to the internet. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have this conversation with you on the internet. I don't like the fact that you keep doing that shit because you're a beautiful girl, son. Nobody knows you personally like I do. You got a good spirit, a good soul. You a good fucking person. But nobody gets to see that because all they see is Eliza entertaining the internet. Leave that nigga alone. He's going to come forth. He has to. He has to. Just leave it alone because he's just going to keep this. You're baby mama number six. She's baby mama number seven. But y'all are mad at him? It's like, where's the personal responsibility? You knew he had all these kids by different women, but chose to get pregnant by him because of who he was. Trust and believe if this was damn future, the fry cook at Burger King who didn't have no money, he'd be lucky to have two baby mamas, let alone damn seven, okay? Go ahead and watch this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. I'm about to get off this live. All I'm saying is that at the end of the day, I kept quiet for months. I kept quiet. Nobody heard of me. Like I'm human. He's human. She's human. I'm about to get off, babe. I am just told you I'm about to get off. I'm about to get off. All right. Let me say what I got to say. I'm about to get off. Um, uh, um, what was I going to say again? Okay. So I'm human. Cindy's human. He's human. We're not going to take away from him. We're not going to take anything away from him. Maddie's human. Everybody's human. So what my thing is and what the point I'm trying to make is, I don't give a f who the f you are. At the end of the day, take care of your, uh, take care of your responsibility. It's niggas all over the world that have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe more kids, but you don't hear that's famous or whatever. But you don't hear they name rain next. Blah, blah, blah. Because at the end of the day, they take care of this situation. You're not going to sit there and try me on top of try, on top of try, on top of try, and try to clown me, bro. It's like you literally trying to clown me. You're trying to clown me. Like, you purposely trying to, like, throw subs, the, all that. Listen, everything, I listen, I don't have been through mental abuse. Phys um, not physical abuse. I take that back. Mental abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse. I said that already, but whatever. The point is, at the end of the day, emotional distress. This I think he got it all. Like he think he smarter than everybody. You're not gonna sit there and keep fucking trying me. I don't give a. Fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of the baby mamas. I don't care. I'm not a jealous type. Of but you're not gonna sit there and try me. Do what you're supposed to do.
Simple as that. You're dodging. You're playing games. And then you're throwing subs. You and ever condone that. Period. I'm not, about, I'm not mad about a vacation. I'm not mad about a watch. I can take my own self on a vacation. I can buy my own watch. Period. All right, so you guys just watched that live stream. So like I said, the whole situation is a hot mess. So anyways, right, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Once again, concerning Future and Eliza Rain going back and forth via the courts. Do you agree with me that if Future really believes that this is fraud, he needs to take a paternity test? And then how do you feel about Eliza Rain and even the seventh baby mother, you know what I'm saying, coming in knowing that he has all these children, but still willing to, you know, have a kid with future, but now they're upset and in their feelings when it's like, why even put yourself in that situation in the first place? It just doesn't make any sense. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.